welcome back to the channel. Today we are putting two drones to the ultimate test to see which one can track a moving target at the highest speed. We've got the DJI Neo and the DJI Flip and we'll be pushing them to their limits while I ride my electric mountain bike on the open road. Let's see which drone comes out on top. Here's the setup. I'll be riding this electric mountain bike with the Bofang uh, motor installed in it, which uh, can hit some pretty impressive speeds. Also here in front we have the digital speedometer from uh, the electric uh, motor. Mounted on the bike is uh, the DJI Action 5 Pro camera that uh, will give us a unique view of the drones in action, while the drones on board cameras will track me from above. Uh, also get a close look at the RC footage to monitor the tracking interface in real time. This will give us insight into how its drone handles when the speed ramps up. We'll uh, start with DJI Flip followed by the DJI Neo. Let's get rolling. Alright, here we go. Starting off with the DJI Flip. The tracking mode is engaged and we are rolling. In the first test, I'm evaluating how the flip performs at speeds reaching up to 35 km per hour. And as you can see, the flip is locked on me. Let me quick explain what uh, we are seeing on the screen. The main view is the footage captured by the DJI Flip's camera. In the bottom left corner, we have video from the DJI Action 5 Pro, which includes telemetry data from my Garmin 4 Runner 245. This setup allows us to track the speed of the moving target, in this case my electric bike. Finally, in the bottom right corner we have footage from the DJI RC2 remote controller showing the drone telemetry, including its uh, altitude and of course the, the speed, giving us an in-depth view of its performance. The DJI Flip uses advanced AI to lock on to a moving target, ensuring smooth tracking even at higher speeds. In this first run, the Flip uh, has no trouble keeping up with me at uh, 35 km per hour. Knowing this, I'm now gradually increasing my speed by 5 km per hour increments to find its upper tracking limit. This approach helps us pinpoint the exact moment the drone begins to struggle. Today's conditions are ideal for testing minimal wind and clear visibility, so the results we are seeing are a true reflection of the flip's tracking capabilities. As you can see, the flip is holding steady so far. I'm bumping up the speed now 40 km per hour. five now and oh there it is dragging is starting to lag you can see the drone struggling to keep up as I pull ahead this seems to be its breaking point now it's time to test the DJI Neo unlike the DJI flip the Neo is designed to track targets at slightly lower speeds so this test should be a bit easier to execute. I'm starting off at 20 km per hour and gradually increasing the speed in increments of 5 km per hour to find its tracking limit. As you can see the Neo is tracking steadily at 20 km per hour, no surprises here. Let's bump it up to 25 and still it's holding on with no issues. Now, at 28 km per hour, the tracking remains smooth and consistent. That's impressive for a drone in this category. Alright, now we are pushing past uh, 30 km per hour and uh, this is where the Neo begins to, to struggle. Around 31 km per hour the tracking starts to falter and the drone can no longer keep the target locked. You can see it losing me as I pull ahead. So, we found its limit. 
This means the DJI Neo has a maximum steady tracking speed of about 29 km per hour, just below the DJI Flips 41 km per hour. While it doesn't match the flip stop speed, the Neo still delivers a reliable performance for slower moving targets, making it a great choice for activities like jogging, casual biking or other moderate speed tracking scenarios. And there you have it, the DJI Neo and the DJI Flip put to the test. Both are incredible drones, but the Flip definitely takes the crown for maximum tracking speed. What do you think of these results? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more tech reviews and tests and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what's next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.